that's yummy. Uh, hi and welcome back to the vlog. Uh, this is Vlogmas day 16, I think. I got these bubbles from Jade, who was my secret sender. Uh, and they got me these really, really cute glasses and a nice bottle of bubbly. So I'm having it today because I deserve all the nice things. Mm. So I thought today I'd sort of do a catch up about how I'm feeling about Christmas in particular because I don't always have that festive spirit and I have a very complicated history with the festive season and so I thought I'd share that with all of you. Christmas has always been like this weird time of the year for me because I have this profound like love-hate relationship with it at the moment and I I sometimes don't know how to feel and what to do, particularly during the festive season. Growing up for me was a little hard. I uh, I didn't have like the best relationship with my like extended family, like my mom and my dad and my brothers. Like we were like really really great, but there were things I guess that surfaced over time in our sort of extended family that that made me like hella uncomfortable, you know. And I guess for me, like when I was younger, like. I couldn't necessarily identify what that thing was but then as I got a little bit older and started thinking about stuff and particularly when I started going to therapy um, I was sort of unpacking these things about why I felt the way that I did around Christmas and why I was just not loving it at all. Like the family that I sort of grew up with to a particular degree when I was younger into my teen years and even into my, like my young adult life in my 20s there was a very strong sense of like belittlement and I guess just like not liking something that is like other and there are lots of reasons why that was there but as a kid that like like it bothered me so so much growing up with my brother in the context of my family was sometimes a little difficult because I was always labeled as effectively like the chubby kid and it didn't like hit me then, you know? Like when you're a kid, these things are just like, like your regular, regular life, you know? And you don't necessarily think about it too deeply. But they do start impacting you. And particularly because my brother had been very athletic and very involved in sport in a particular way. And I wasn't, I was the fat kid. Cue all of the self-esteem and inferiority issues. Um, that just like me really, really messed me up as a child and continued into my adult life in the way that I viewed weight, in the way that I saw food, in my relationship with food particularly. And so this constant thing about being reminded that you were the fat kid was just like it was so toxic. Now in addition to that, there were all kinds of layers of racism, of xenophobia, of colorism, of homophobia, of transphobia, of like queerphobia. And it was just, it was a lot. Like it was like, to be very honest with you, it was very traumatic and very unpleasant to be around that. But I could never say that out loud. And then also these very strong male patriarchal models that get added onto all of that made it an incredibly hostile environment for me as a kid growing up but never saying that to anyone and because christmas is such a family specific time everybody around me is so happy and so excited that it is christmas and don't get me wrong they are like amazing things that i love about christmas you know particularly like when you're a kid like getting gifts and stuff like that's like that's so amazing but then also on the flip side of that i'm stuck in a room for the entire day with people that i don't necessarily like although i love them like i think i can hold space for like loving somebody but also disliking them at the same time and family is sometimes that for me mm. <laughs> it's funny because like a couple of years later i end up like going to therapy and sort of starting to unearth these issues and discover that I've had like anxiety to a particular degree, which was very much brought on by uh, being trapped and being around people who 
you know? So over a period of time, after spending years with people and getting to know them, when I came out as queer and as trans, one of the things that I knew was that that was not a safe space for me. And as a result, I removed myself from the situation because it just, it, it didn't go down well. I think it does something particularly to kids when they grow up in spaces that are hostile, that they can't, they can't articulate it in a particular way or that nobody sees that. And I felt that with myself and I've had friends that I've had conversations with who've experienced something similar. There is <sighs> the Christmas holidays then start becoming triggers and particularly at the time where everybody is happy and trying to you know enjoy their break from work and uh, you know going to the beach and having like fun in the sun at least here in South Africa because you know that the holiday season does become incredibly difficult for a lot of people and for me as well. Now all of that said over the last while I'd say maybe the last two years I think I've in some kind of way found like my own family and I think that's like one of the beautiful things about being queer and finding your family that suddenly like all of that stress and that anxiety around the holidays, around Christmas, around gift giving, around food suddenly is less noisy. In the last couple of vlog episodes there's been a very sort of strong theme around gratitude and appreciation for people and I think to a large degree uh, in my life I have been very like terrible at articulating to people and saying it to them that I love them that I care for them that they mean something to me and I've struggled with that for a very very long time and finding the um, the joy in being vulnerable with people and and it's taken me such a long time to get there like wow like yesterday we did the secret center with my colleagues at work and i was like oh my word like i love these people so damn much and they've become my family in a way and i don't know how that happened and then cue all of my other friends who have also become family and who have brought something to my life that i would have never expected in a way because you know i was like going through the world pretending like i was like fine on my own and good with being alone and i am but now now i have all these incredible people in my life and i am so freaking grateful for all of them like three four years ago if you asked me i would have told you like i hated the holiday season and i hated christmas but now I think I actually really love it. There is something incredible about being around the people that you love and having them love you and you love them and without it being stressful. And so over the last while, I've been trying to let more joy into my life because I deserve these things. And also I deserve to be open um, with the people that I care about. And that's, that feels like a big thing for me. In fact, I am going to be hosting a Christmas lunch dinner thing. I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing, but I think I'm gonna have people over for Christmas this year. And I'm going to cook and do the things because I can. I hope that wherever all of you are this festive season, that you are safe and that you are happy and that the festive season is bringing you a little bit of joy. Like, is this what people feel like all the time during the festive season? Because it's wonderful. As always, if you have been enjoying this content and if you are new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn the bell on for notifications so that you are in the loop when we upload more videos. And I'll see all of you in the next one. Ciao.